going to take a look at just uh, looking after the calendar module, so making entries, edits, and some of the information that you can include therein. Um, so once you're logged in on your account, um, you can find the calendar module. I'm just using the basic one. There's another one called the CalGuy calendar uh, or CG calendar, um, but for this video I'm just going to use the regular calendar one which is a little bit outdated. The CalGuy one has some more advanced features, but there's also a great deal of similarity between them from the management side of it. So, under Content, Calendar. In this particular case, it takes us to a list of existing entries. And if I was to pull up one of these entries for editing, I just need to click on it from the list or I can click on the edit button on the far right side if I wanted to delete one, just a matter of clicking it there. Um, also in this column we see the title, so this is the title that will show with the entry itself. We've also got a from date and on some of them we have a to date so we can actually set um, if, if it is a multi-day event we can input that information as well. In addition to the events list itself, there's also categories that we can create for this. Uh, in this particular case we just have a general, um, but the advantage of categories is if you have multiple, uh, you enter in events and when you enter them in you assign them to the different categories. It can belong to multiple categories for a single event if you want. What this enables us to do is on specific areas of a site we can target um, only certain events to be displayed. So if it's a difference between conferences and festivals, then it's very easy for us to separate it. So we're not showing business information in the recreational side or and vice versa. <clears throat> the templates and whatnot and the settings, those are all the advanced stuff um, that as a site administrator we get into and I won't be going into that on this video. So we could create other categories and go back to the events themselves. So an existing event to edit uh, just after we click on the link it comes up it shows us a from date and a to date because it was input um, there is the opportunity to edit uh, recursions on a given event um, so to say if it is to recur at all or not um, or to set whether it's daily weekly fortnightly more monthly and yearly um, there's also a stop date for recursion as well, uh, which is a really nice feature, but it depends on your needs. The title, a summary sh really should be just a brief summary. Um, typically this would be used within um, within feeds or whatnot, or it might be a little bit of inf information that shows up in a listing of upcoming events, but it's not the full detailed explanation. And then in this particular case, um, there's not a lot of details that are being provided for events so it's kept quite short and we skip the summary altogether uh, because we spit out the details on um, the listing of upcoming events. In terms of the formatting and stuff um, I'll cover off um, one other thing. Say you wanted to link to a file from within this. Um, so once you've highlighted your text clicking on the insert edit link button which is the globe with the uh, chain chain link brings up a dialog box I'm using the FCK editor um, but it may vary a little bit in a, depending on your installation it might have a different editor uh, but some of the functions are generally the same they just looks a little bit different when you're in the editing window so if I wanted to link to a file I would click on Browse Server. It's going to bring up a list of files that are currently uploaded for this particular site. So I click on it. It'll bring it back into this field over here for us. It's indexing it as a URL. It's an actual link to a file. And target we would set. Typically, when linking to a file, um, we encourage uh, opening a new window. Uh, it can get a little confusing if you don't mainly because all of a sudden a PDF document might open within the browser window which can be confusing for some users. You get a lot of complaints about that stuff so by doing the new window it's just become kind of a de facto standard. Um, it's not necessarily um, a web standard or what's recommended by web authorities but from a user point uh, 
from the user standpoint, it's uh, an expected behavior. Um, and then we would just click OK and that would convert it to an actual link. If I was to hit save, that would actually change it on the front end of the site. It would be that simple. Um, if I want to remove that link, just a matter of doing the remove link icon. Um, we'll do one more, or maybe a couple more. If I wanted to do a link to an email address, so I just select under link type email, it'll change the fields that are available. I enter the email address, uh, in this case, I could do a subject. Um, Uh, when is it? And then when I click OK, again, all we're going to see here is that it's become a link. Um, if I was to open it up again for editing, it'll show me that information is in there. So uh, comes in quite handy. Turn that off. There's one other we can do, and that's we could effectively link to a website and similar as in uh, when you link to files use the target new window and again from user experience it's an expected behavior um, for the general masses for the uh, the tech lords um, it rubs against the grain but um, we're not building these for the tech lords so uh, what else can I tell you on that one? That would be it. It would, again, just be a matter of hitting uh, update and that would save it. If I hit cancel, all that does is says everything that I typed so far, we're not going to save it and publish it. Let's go back to you know the list of files. If I wanted to create a new event, you're going to find the dialog is really quite similar to, to everything we just saw. So we can do the from date, to date, recursion, um, recurs until the title summary and then whatever we want to put in for the details and that would take care of it for us okay so that's it for taking a look at the calendar module